But what I want to do is make sure people are supported from day one. That's why I'd have a temporary moratorium on the green energy levy to save people money from their fuel bills. And what I will also do is reverse the national insurance rise to make sure people are keeping more of their own money. What's vitally important at this moment is we get economic growth going. And at the moment, we've got the highest taxes for 70 years. That's why I believe in lower taxes to get growth going, to encourage businesses to invest. And that way, there'll be more money in people's pockets. Critics say those sort of schemes won't scratch the surface in terms of the thousands of pounds people will need to help them struggling with rising energy bills. Why are you ruling out direct financial support for people struggling to deal with, with the cost of living? Well, what I'm promising is from day one, people will have lower taxes. They'll also have lower energy bills because I'm going to put a temporary moratorium on the green energy levy. But what we need is we need a growing economy. And a growing economy will be, mean more money in people's pockets. But what it will also mean is thriving businesses, higher wages, higher productivity. And the problem we've had for decades in this country is low growth, which has squeezed the funding available for public services. With respect, those policies are going to provide people with a few hundred pounds extra. People are expecting their energy bills to go up by perhaps as much as £2,000. Why are you ruling out direct financial support to help people struggling with the cost of living? Well, what I'm talking about is enabling people to keep more money in their own pockets. What I don't believe in is taxing people to the highest level in 70 years and then giving them their own money back. We are conservatives, we believe in low taxes, and what I'm not going to do is announce the next budget uh, in advance. Of course, we'll need to deal with the circumstances as they arise, but my fundamental principle is that people should keep more of their own money, and we should be on the side of people who do the right thing, people who go out to work, people who set up their own businesses, people who are contributing to the economy because we need economic growth to get through these difficult times. At present, there's a recession predicted. And I don't need to tell people what a recession is like. It would mean people losing their jobs. It would mean hardship. We need to avoid that by growing our economy. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry to repeat this, but I mean, this is, this is really important. And people are really worried about their energy bills this winter and the, the projections that they're going to rise by thousands of pounds, what you're proposing will only help people by a few hundred pounds. Why are you ruling out direct financial support to help people struggling with the cost of living? Well, what I'm doing is making sure people are paying less taxes and also having a temporary moratorium on the green energy levy to save people money on their fuel bills. I'm not going to write the budget in advance. We'll see what the situation is like in the autumn, but I'm committed to making sure people are supported and I'm committed to growing the economy. But why are you running out direct have, financial support? What we can't have, I'm not, I'm not going to comment on exactly what's going to be in the budget. What I've been clear about... But you are running out direct what financial I, support. What I am clear about is that from day one, I will reduce taxes and I'll also have a temporary moratorium on the green energy levy to save people money on their fuel bills. And what's important is that we get the economy growing. We can't get the economy growing if we have the highest tax rates for 70 years in this country. And I'm determined to change that. I'm determined to challenge the orthodoxy. And I'm determined to do things differently. But I'm not going to write the budget in advance. Why do some of your own colleagues say that your tax-cutting budget that you're proposing amounts to an electoral suicide note? Well, I'm running a positive campaign. And my campaign is all about growing the British economy. I know that we have huge talent around this country. I want to get rid of those EU laws off our statute books. I want to drive investment and growth across the economy. And I want to do it by allowing people to keep more of their own money and making it easier to set up businesses. That's the way we're going to drive success in this country. So you're not worried about Dominic Rahm's comments that your emergency budget amounts to an electoral suicide well, What I care about is Britain being successful. I don't agree with these portents of doom. I don't agree, agree with this declinist talk. I believe our country's best days are ahead of us. And what I'm going to do, if selected as Prime Minister, is keep taxes low, get the economy growing, 
unleash the potential right across Britain. Okay. That's what I'm about. Just one final question, if I may. Your opponent, Rishi Sunak, uh, says he will scrap a proposed reception centre for asylum seekers before they head to Rwanda in Linton on Ooze in North Yorkshire. The villagers there say they don't want this reception centre. Rishi Sunak says he doesn't want it. What would you do about it? Well, my understanding from the Defence Secretary is that site is not going ahead. So it's a moot point because it won't be going forward. Mistress, thank you very much. Thank you.